Many know me as Vice the DJ, a native Angelino who rocks clubs night after night. What you may not know is that my passion for music is just as big as my passion for food. I decided to share this with the world and bring some friends along for the ride. From the valley to the west side and everywhere in between, join me as I venture out to find some of the best tacos in LA. This is Electric Taco. Electric Taco! I don't even want, wow, this thing's too clean. Look I don't even want to get this thing dirty. Brody Jenner What's on up, Electric Taco. How you doing, brother? Were you at a young age already hitting the ocean right here and surfing? And yeah, absolutely. What, well, I was what in came a band, first? Well, well, shit, I was in a band called Face Humper. I remember I Face Humpers. Face that was, was that's what it started called, from, yeah. from me hearing the, the name from my boy Brom, and he said, we, he I mentioned. think you were going to be in. We wanted you in the you band. You guys wanted me to be in the band. <laughs> so you're Face Humping yeah, the crowd yeah, I'm doing that and, uh, and playing drums and... Yeah. At that point, do you think like, dude, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a rock star? Like, is that your, is that what your vision was? I mean, I think, I think, yeah. I, I, right, you know, it's interesting. Is right when I was in that band, uh, I was starting to do television with my, with my buddy Spencer Pratt. Okay. And uh, he, you know, basically we got into this thing called Prince. He wanted to, to do this show about the my Prince family. And we, you know, we lived in this crazy house with yeah. Foster. It was like 22 acres, and the show was really fucking funny, man. Like it, it has. We been. were doing some wild stuff, and we were setting up scenes. It wasn't just reality, you know. We would. I'd park in Dave's parking spot. He'd come out yelling at me like, "What the fuck are you doing in my parking spot?" So it was buddy? real. Yeah. This is yeah. This is the start of it all. Right this here. is the start of it all, man. And then, so we sold it to Fox, uh, and we shot it for three weeks. The day before um, we shot it, my my mom walked in on my stepdad Dave cheating on her with our old secretary. The day wow. before we started to shoot the show. And, and, and Dave is a great guy. I love David. You know, like, that's but, not staged though. This no, is that's, real this life. This is real life. We yeah. weren't, they weren't filming this shit. Wow. So they pulled no the longer. plug on that. So they pulled the plug on that, and then that was a good lesson, though. You know, oh, because, yeah. because here you look we at are. it now, right? You're like, wow. Oh, dude, I'm so glad that happened because yeah. I got to experience failure like right out of the gate. Yeah. And I think that that's so important for people to not always just succeed, succeed, succeed. You need to like it, you learn so much in life by failing in life. You have to. Absolutely. I wish someone explained that to us when we were younger. He would hit us up, be like, dude, I'm working on this new show. It's called The Hills. Like, I got to get you guys on the show. And we're going, well, how? You know, this is like a yeah. reality show. These girls they already had the cast? Were like, oh, yeah, they were filming. He was already like four or five months after. Okay. And so he would hit us up and be like, yo, we're filming at this club in LA. Like, you and Spencer, and he like rolled through we're filming <laughs> at this club. So we would go and buy like bottles, I mean, it wasn't even like, I had, I was broke, though. Yeah. I had no money, but I'd have to like, you know, borrow my mom's credit card and shit. So you're, you're literally crashing yeah. the TV show? Yeah, we were like you're just crashing it in. Yeah, me and Spencer were just going buy bottles and they're like, and who trying are these, to talk to these girls. Who are these like, dudes? Try to get up on this show. Yeah. We were on the hustle. We, were, we, were, <laughs> we, would, we would do that, and then Spencer started hanging out with Heidi. They met, you know, out, and then that's when they, I mean, and they are still to this day in love, you know, and it wow. was, it's pretty interesting to see. And, but in the beginning, it was kind of like, okay, Brody, we're in. I got Heidi. Okay, this is Lauren's best friend, and we, and dude, we just straight up like manipulated our way onto that show. We just got along more on the friendship level, but I think that but it was being screen as well. Everyone, I think everyone our on screen right? chemistry was yeah. really good, so we wanted to kind of keep keep that up. Yeah. And so we both played it off pretty well and pretended like I think that we were a little more interested in each other than we really were. So yeah. now what happens with Brody? Brody's like, you know, you're, you're, the shows are done, you take your break and it's like I'm ready to get back the into show, it. Yeah, I took my break and then I, and then, which ended up being like, I wanted a year break and ended up being like a year and a half. I did a lot of traveling. So now you're in busy. Indonesia? like. So I'm just like traveling around, okay. going to Indonesia, chasing swells, you know, spending a lot of time surfing and, and doing all that. Um, and then, and then I ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it real. I like, mean, straight up. I'm I broke. Had, all of a sudden, I had no more money. You know, yeah. I, I, I milked that last little bit of money that I had for a long time, and I just and, and just was you know on a budget doing this and traveling. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I just had no more money. And I you know I grew up very fortunate to have parents that you know paid for a lot of things. But the number one thing that I wanted to do was separate myself from that. The funniest one that I see nowadays is that people think that freaking Caitlyn Jenner like gives me money. Like, yeah. he, he, I don't think he has ever given me a penny in my entire life. Like not <laughs> one, and, I'm, and that's, that's all good, you yeah, know, because good. I grew up with, you know, David Foster as my right. dad pretty much, and, and my mom and, and Caitlyn Jenner, I, or Bruce at the time, yeah. you know, didn't pay, even pay child support. Right. So it's like, 
I was not given any money from that side of the family or any of the Kardashians. You know, they always say the they Kardashians. They always think that. I've gotten z zero dollars yeah. from the Kardashians. Like this, we can we could roll out to Venice and go to get tacos. 100%. And, and you don't have to stress like, oh man, I'm going to be like harassed. There's going to be that. Or you don't have to That's have That's just because I'm not on the Kardashians yeah. anymore. <laughs> You're not on the show. You got off that show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so have you I been, got, have I you been on the off that show, I think. <laughs> <laughs> It was okay. really good. Well, now, no, no carne asada on this one. We just went up. We went uh, turkey, um, chicken. Turkey, I like that and turkey. The, yeah, turkey. <laughs> I, got, I get real Mexican after <laughs> I have tacos. We have turkey. That was delicious. Is uh, is uh, all right. Let's roll. Let's head, yeah. let's head back to the boo. Let's do it. I asked you if you spoke any Spanish because you're from LA, and you're like, no, 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 like un poquito. Right? I mean, oh, well. Que trata de explicar un poquito cómo fue que los artículos de confederación fallaron. That's pretty good. Dude. Dang. Dang. Oh, shit. I, I never knew that. this. Look at the Maserati. Ooh. Oh. oh. And a hot chick driving it, too. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I, I would like to do something a little more challenging. I would say, like, the acting or something yeah. like that. I'm doing some more improv. But then, but music. I mean, honestly, Music's like, always been in you. you. Music has always been in me, and that's always what really makes, like, even people when I first started messing around with, with the decks, people would just be like, dude, I've never seen you be so happy. Oh, you better get out of the way, dog. You better wait. You go over right there. <laughs> ah! Hey! <laughs> We're moving. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, you're not. Yeah, well, like you know, you know what I mean. After you know, I've been, I've been playing music. Play, yeah. I've been playing on the decks for about three years now, and I've put in a lot. You know, I put a lot of work in. I've, I've practiced very hard, and I'm able to to have some smooth transitions. Yeah. And you know, but I fuck up still. Uh, you know, it's, I'm not perfect. You're natural. And, yeah. and, and I'm actually doing it. Like I had a lot of people when I first started saying, you know, you should use Tractor because I got auto sync, and you should do this, and you yeah. should kind of go the cheap version. Failing like that and, and learning that type of way and getting burned and, yeah. and and honestly the hate like how many people were hating on me when I first started doing it I think that that just oh, motivated sure. me that much more to get better. And a while back I was DJing in Hollywood and I remember I was playing like I was playing all funk and soul and stuff and this girl was on the dance floor and she was like middle finger to me like this oh, like God. and she's like thumbs down I have the mic. Yeah. And I cut the music, That's the and I'm like, girl in the white in the middle of the dance floor <laughs> does not like Marvin Gaye, uh, does not like Stevie Wonder. That's her <laughs> right there. She's she's and I was like pointing around. She's, she's like, dipping oh, to the ground yeah, yeah, and dunking yeah, yeah. out. That's Your first single you said is already done. Yeah, we well, we have like fuck together. We have probably like 25 songs, wow. 30, 25 30 songs. I would say. Ten of them are just complete, just ideas. Another ten are like decent songs, and then we have ten that are actually like we'll, we're definitely gonna release within the next year here. So, how did you stay so grounded in, you know, saying like the lifestyle you grew up in and the the people you were you were raised by? You know what I mean? You how did you stay so grounded as like I would as you like? Yeah, I would say like my mom. You know, I would say my mom, my stepdad, David Foster, and my brother. Yeah, like those three people alone um, just always kept you in check. Yeah, I think so. Well, I do think that it's very important to live in the moment. It's so rare that people actually just forget about what they have to do in two hours yeah. and live in the exact moment that they're living in. I think that's very important. But as far as just goals in life, I mean, to be to be a good person, man. Honestly, yeah. to be a good person, try to live healthy and try to be as happy as possible and appreciate the people that are in your life and, and just kind of... Just be a better person. Yeah, I think every day just strive to be a better person. Do something. That... I realize a lot of the people I've been surrounding myself with. The older we're getting, the more healthier choices we're making. Yeah. Where it's like it's it's it's. You're uh... like instead of taking five shots, of the yeah. time, I'm only gonna take two or three. <laughs> yeah. And there's gonna be no mixers in no. it. Yeah. No mix. <laughs> we're gonna keep it very. None of that sweet shit. You know? Yeah. Even when yeah. I switched from churn tables to CDJs, I right. got a lot of shit from people like just saying, oh, why'd you sell? Why'd you do that? That's whack. Like, you're not really like DJing anymore. And I'm like, I always think like if, if you just stay in your comfort zone, you're just going to get left in the dust and you're 100%. not going to grow. My brother, dude, on man, electric brother. taco. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure by the end of this, people really can really know that this was not just, let me pick up 
um, Brody Jenner to do an episode. It was like we got to actually just hang out as, as homies. Well, we were filming that for the Hills, too. Dog. Yeah. So, so the Hills reunion. <laughs> it's just, hey, then we let out the secret now. It's coming back. Yeah. It's coming back. It's coming back. My brother. All right, Electric hey, Taco. You're the man. Brody Jenner. Love I appreciate you. your Love time, you, brother. Yes, you're sir. The man, brother. All day.